Number two, money paralysis. Yeah, who said woohoo? What's that for you? What's money paralysis for you? Negative income. Yeah. We're tying this back into some of the things that we did already this morning, right? The question may be can I really afford this particular opportunity? I need a virtual assistant. Can I really afford to get help in my business? Where will the money come from? The money already exists. When you do the 50 ways list fully, you will find the money. How many people have actioned the 50 ways list so far and made some money? Yes, awesome. What about the rest of you? What's that? You're being present in the room. I invite you to be present in the room and hustling for money at the breaks. No, I'm serious. This is part of, this is, oh, I'm not picking on you, Elena. I'm, I'm saying there has to be this no excuses approach to getting what you want in life. Okay? Whether it's money or a relationship or whatever, it's like, where do you put your attention and intention? Yeah, be present in this room. Don't be doing your 50 ways in this room. But we, we have plenty of time while we're here. And we also have, like, do it on the plane. Do it when you get home. Carve out a time every single day for 15 minutes. Have an automatic calendar thing from, let's say, 9 to 9.15 that says, action my 50 ways list. <laughs> Write that down. If you want to find the money, it's there. You just have to act like an immigrant. I'm an immigrant. I came here not knowing the language. I came here not fitting in. I came here heavily bullied once I arrived. I hustled to do what it takes. I think that being an immigrant is part of um, what's helped me get the hustle on. Because when something means a lot to you, you'll do it. Can I be really contrarian and like bristle you? People in this country say, I'm broke, or there's no money. That's not true. Go and wash dishes. Oh no, that's above me. You know what I mean. I'm glad you're paying. I'm glad you're paying attention. That's below me. All right. Go watch somebody's kids. That's not enough money. One of my family members was out of a job for several years. And we kept saying to him, get a job, like get any job. No, that job doesn't pay enough. He was holding out for 150000 a year. For several years, started to ask for money. Can you lend me money? Yes, but why don't you get a job? There are plenty of $75,000 a year jobs. No, I'm waiting out. I'm waiting for the 150. Okay, I get it, but like now you're in serious trouble. Like now you're, you're begging your friends and family for money. We need to get our hustle on put our ego to the side, show the universe that we are committed to getting the thing that we say we want. It's reciprocity. 
Greatness does not go on sale. You have to put in the sweat equity to get the reward. So we're, you know, we think, thank you, Martha. <laughs> she wants you to clap with her so she's not alone. Who do we think we are? We're better than, no, immigrants have got it right. And I have huge, huge honor and awe. Because they're doing, there are some people who were doctors in their country who are now cleaning houses. And look at us. No, my friends, we bold hearts, we hustle. Say it with me, we hustle. We hustle. We hustle. We hustle. When I started out, I chose resourcefulness. I hustled and I found the money. There was a point at which, when I was in my first business, which was a nutrition business called Natural Transformations, I didn't have enough money to stay afloat. I started doing these, get, it was called, I still have the emails, getting started in the kitchen, cooking classes. $35. Now, for those of you who know my story about the 3 a.m. sweats and my 250 square foot, my 350, I don't even remember now, 300 square foot apartment in New York City. Tiny, tiny kitchen. I, my dad helped me build a foldable table. So I got plywood and these like foldable feet, whatever you call them. And I put like some tablecloth on it and I bought a camping grill, a Coleman grill with the butane thing. And I gave cooking classes in my living room. $35 a person, 10 to 12 people every couple of weeks. That was about 350 bucks times two. That's 700 bucks a month. That helped me get through and keep going in my business. What could you do on the side, right? To afford something I really wanted, I went to the person who, well, some of you, has anybody gone to IIN in this room? I went to Joshua. I went to Joshua and I said, I need a part-time job. He said, I thought you had your own business. I said, I need some more money. He hired me part-time for four months. That made all the difference in the world. What are you getting from this? What? Hustle, baby. Hustle. Yes, you have a... Um, I just wanted to share my little story because I'm also an immigrant and uh, I came here when I was uh, 20. Uh, pretty much like not speaking any English, like I didn't have any job skills. I came here by myself, like my family was uh, back in Russia. And I had this dream like to live somewhere like in a different country, like not in my little hometown. Uh, and I was like cleaning the houses, I was a waitress because I didn't speak any, any English. Uh, fast forward, I went to college, I got my degree, I got my CPA license, I was working like in a number one accounting firm only to quit all this because I hated my job so much. Like it wasn't really speaking to me, like it wasn't meaningful. Uh, and three years ago, like I started my own business, like now I empower women like through uh, portraiture, making pretty much like 15K a month. Woo! Thank you. That spirit of hustle stays with you your whole life. Seriously, say, turn to the person next to you and say, I'm going to start acting like an immigrant. <laughs> At different points in my business, at different points in my business, I knew that to get to the next level, I needed to invest. Doing more of the same would have brought me more of the same results. But sometimes the capital wasn't there. That's okay, happens to everybody. Here are some of the things that I did. Very simple. 
I did a Google search. Zero percent credit card offers. I knew that if I was approved for a credit card with zero percent APR for a year, and I made my payments on time, right? This is taking personal responsibility. I could fund my business without any interest. I hustled. I got the capital. I did the thing that I needed to do. I hustled and hustled and made the money back and paid off the credit card before even the 12 months were over. I borrowed other people's money and never paid an extra cent. That is awesome. That's resourcefulness. There are places that you can borrow money. There's fundwise capital. Have you ever used that? Gotten a loan for your business? No. Write it down. I'm not sure. Write it down, and you can always contact them and say, "Are there any UK or Europe alternatives?" But you can afford anything you want if you get resourceful. Like, don't get stopped. Don't don't get stuck. Get scrappy. <laughs> Go ahead, do it with me. <laughs> Who just barked? <laughs> of course it's you, Cherise. Get scrappy, like get immigranty, like get hustly, like get resourceful. You are not lazy. Turn to the person next to you and say, "I am not lazy. I'm resourceful." You have things like PayPal credit. Do you know about PayPal credit? Write it down. PayPalCredit.com. You want to find money for something? There it is. Then, the key is do everything to get the money back quickly. If you're hiring somebody, train them, train them, train them. Get everything off your plate. Give it to them, and then use that time not to eat bonbons on the sofa, but use that time to go market your business. Use that time to go work on exponential growth activities. Use that time to do epic things you didn't have the time to do, and that will pay for the investment you made in that person. This is about personal responsibility. This is a hack. You want a greater impact in your business? That means don't let yourself get stuck the way everybody else does. Something that I want to add to that: What if you don't want to commit to something that you don't want to stay with for a long time? What if you don't want to commit to something that you don't want to stay with for a long time? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The side hustle. The, oh, I, and I teach this in in the growth track. The side hustle doesn't have to be for a very long time. Like if you want to get a part-time gig. In your mind, you don't tell them it's. <laughs> you don't, you know, don't lie. Okay, I do not believe in lying. Don't say I'm going to be here for two years. But in your mind, you could just say, in your mind, you could say, I'm just doing this for six months. I'm just doing this for six months. I'm smart enough to get a paycheck from somebody else while I grow my business. I did it. When I tell people that I did it, they're like, "Oh, thank God! Then I can do it." I'm like, "Well, I, you didn't need the permission train, but here it is. Just, just, you know, just do it. <laughs>